Scorched Earth has finally arrived on Arcs of Isle Ascended. It's that time again where we dive into the top 20 PvE base locations on the map. Let's get straight into it. First base location is located at 60.3 latitude, 67.1 longitude. Here's our location on the map. And we're looking at this really large flat spot. It's pretty flat. I'm putting foundations down, but it's a decent amount of builder room. And it's right next to water here. Coming in at 65% wind. But really close to the green obelisk. Right next to all that oil, metal, and all that good stuff. Really good spot. Very close to the wreck spawn. Close to all these resources up here on the high rock. All that crystal, obsidian, metal. Really nice spot to build. Next base location is 67.3 latitude, 62.1 longitude. Here's our location on the map. We're looking at this bridge that goes over the canyon here. It's a really nice area. It's quite flat on top. We're right next to the river here, so we've got access to water. There is also a water well here if you want to use that. Looking towards the east up here, on these high rocks, you've got loads of crystal, all the obsidian you ever need. There's loads up here and 65% wind. Next base location is located at 47.7 latitude, 53.5 longitude. Here's our location on the map, directly in the center of the map. And we're looking at this giant pointy rock. Once again, the wind is at 65%, right above the lake here. And of course, that means you're right next to water, which is always great on scorched earth. But I love this spot. I probably wouldn't build here because I'm not really a builder, but this is a great location to build if you like quirky projects because you can definitely build something really cool in this location obviously you got a little little shelter under here as well very nice and of course being as you're in the center of the map pretty close to all those rare resources next base location is located at 27 latitude 51.4 longitude here's our location on the map and we're looking at this area here a really large area it's pretty flat as well and I like that it's got a little cave here that you can build into keep yourself in the shade away from all that heat water source close by in a really good location surrounded by mountains of course blue obelisk there loads of resources up on that mountain and plenty more in the blue obelisk mountains and we're at 65 percent wind next base location is going to be this large peninsula here and you can build a massive base in this location at 60.3 latitude 52.9 longitude and that's our location on the map as you can see loads of building room you've got a water well right outside your base so that's really close by and of course, it doesn't really matter because you've got water right there as well. In terms of the map, you're close to the red obelisk, which means you're close to all the rare resources up the mountains there. There's more rare resources up there, and there's more on top of those flat, big cliffs up there. Scorched Earth is full of rare resources, so you pretty much have no problem at all finding those. However, we are lacking wind in this department at only 20%. Here's our next base location. Location is 31.7 latitude. 51.3 longitude near the top of the map it's a really nice spot to build it's quite flat on top as you can see if we go down here it is pretty flat so that's always nice you've got pathways leading up to it so there's easy access to the land below where there's plenty of water for you to drink which we can complain about it's always good to have water on scorched 65 percent wind once again plenty of room to build you can always extend out here as well. We're in a really good location. There's a metal mountain there with loads of crystal and obsidian. And the same thing on the opposite side of the canyon. Plenty of rare resources, loads of good creatures to tame nearby. It's a really nice spot to build. Next base location is 21.5 latitude, 49.9 longitude. Here's our location on the map. And we're at this mini lake, waterfall and river. It's a really nice location. And there's plenty of building opportunities available here. You can either choose to build up top at the top of the waterfall or you can build below. There's loads of cool ledges around the waterfall. At the base of the waterfall, there's like a little cave slash tunnel that leads out into the lake. There's an opportunity for anyone in this location. 65% wind, and you've got easy access to the desert if you want to go out that way. Right in between the mountain for all the rare resources and the blue obelisk where there's plenty of mountains for more rare resources. Next base location is 27.7 latitude, 50.8 longitude. Here's our location on the map. And we're looking at this beautiful lake and waterfall here. How picturesque can you get? It's a really nice spot. It's relatively flat in areas. Obviously you can build out here if you wanted to. You've got the lake here for your water source. And there's loads of like cool spots where you can actually build. We're at 65% wind, not too bad. Let's be honest, most people use generators anyway and just repair them over time. But yeah, we're in a great location here. As you can see, we're close to the blue obelisk, close to two metal mountains, where you'll find all your rare resources. Beautiful location. Next base location is 57.9 latitude, 60.8 longitude. Here's our location on the map. Another odd pick for me, but I really like the idea of building here. There's two high rocks here that you could build maybe a bridge over to and make a base here. Loads of opportunities to build here. And of course, you're right next to water. 
if you look down here this area is really flat as well if you did want to build down here really good spot right next to the green orb loads of oil veins metal all that good stuff over there 65 percent wind and of course we're located right opposite these tall rocks here and if you just go up here you'll see there's loads of crystal obsidian all that stuff next base location is located at 50.1 latitude 52.1 longitude once again in the center of the map which is a great place to be and we're looking at this peninsula a little bit up from the ground you've got a nice pathway going up to it you can build up here it's got quite a decent amount of room quite flat in places as well so if you like a good flat spot this is a a good spot water surrounding you everywhere 65 percent wind resources coming out your ears right on your doorstep they're everywhere as you can see crystal obsidian metal on top of those tall rocks so yeah it's a really nice spot to build next base location is located at 46.2 latitude 50.6 longitude directly in the center of the map and this is what we're looking at it's this large plateau it's got a nice bridge it's really flat on top and there's plenty of room to play around with being as you're in the direct center of the map, you're not too far away from anything. And of course, you've got your water source right below, so that's really close by also. And the wind is at 65%. It's not great, but it's not bad either. Next base location is 40.9 latitude, 53.4 longitude. Once again, in the direct center of the map. You've got your lake below you, so you have easy access to water. And we're looking at this bridge that goes over the canyon here. It's a really large bridge. Really cool. You could just gate each side off and set a base here and you'll be good to go once again 65 percent wind really close to loads of mountains close to the green obelisk where all the oil veins are and all that good stuff there's loads of metal there too and over here this is a small rex spawn location and you see there's a rex there as well and this is a really common spot to find filers too i don't see any but oh no there's one right there there you go and everyone loves a filer you can't complain about that so there's our base location beautiful next base location is 66.7 latitude 68.1 longitude location on the map and we're looking at this nice flat spot up here it's a really nice area to build loads of room right next to the wreck spawn location which is right there just towards the southeast by those pointy rocks you got your water source right below 65 percent wind and at the top of here once again you've got loads of rare resources you've got crystal obsidian metal all that good stuff next base location is going to be located at this beautiful looking lake here location on the map 62.6 latitude 58.9 longitude and this is what we're looking at i'm really liking this little island in the middle of the lake i feel like you could build something really cool here of course you can build a bridge over to that and there's a plenty of building room around here great location on the map 65 percent wind pretty close to the green obelisk for all those rare resources oil veins all that good stuff and at the top here once again crystal obsidian and all those rare riches it's a nice spot to build next base location is 54.8 latitude 60.8 longitude here's our location on the map as you can see we're right next to the green obelisk so that's a great spot to be and we're looking at this nice smooth looking flat area on top of this big rock loads of building room but it's more of a strategic pick than anything as of course you got your water source down here so it's not too far loads of metal loads of oil veins which as you can see there is oil vein yep there's an oil vein right there and this is like the spot where the filers and rexes spawn as well so you can find some good creatures on your doorstep loads of metal here as well oil veins you got your water you got everything so next base location is going to be the iconic lake which is in the southern east canyons here's our location on the map 73.9 latitude 68.5 longitude and this is a great spot to build there's so much potential in building if you like building and like quirky projects then this is probably the one for you there's a lot of uh opportunity building here and of course you're surrounded by water wind is 65 percent which isn't too bad and once again you're right next to a mountain for all your metal obsidian crystal especially up here there's metal obsidian and crystal right at the top so you've got all those resources right next to you not to mention that this spot is right next to the best wreck spawn on the map if we just look towards the east from the base location head out to the desert and this is where all the wrecks are spawned you can see there's one down there probably more around here if i keep looking yeah there's one two there we go there's loads we all know how important the wrecks is for taming next base location is located at 67.3 latitude 57.3 longitude here's our location on the map and we're looking at this large plateau here it's a very large area you can build a big base here it has got a water well so it's a great place to start out i've got an irrigated cooker here without the water well down i've just got a network of water tanks going towards the 
water down here, which is the river just here. And of course, you're surrounded by all the mountains, loads of crystal and obsidian on those tall rocks there. Metal up in the mountains up there by the red ob. Of course, you're next to the red obelisk also. Most of it is unfortunately 20% wind. However, if you just move down to the south slightly to this open area here, a bit further, there you go. You can see it's 100% wind in this area, which is always a pleasant surprise. And here it is, my personal favorite base location, located at 74 latitude, 57.1 longitude. And if you're anything like me, I like the ground to do the work for me, and I like a good flat spot. And this is a really decent flat spot. It's quite long, and with some precision on placing your foundation, you'll be able to find a large flat spot for you. The best thing about this location is that it's not in the desert, and typically the desert is the only real place that has 100% wind, but this place does have 100% wind. So we can power our electrical devices with a wind turbine. It is a little far from water, but if you just look to the north over here, there is a water well right there, so that's really close to the base. In terms of location, really close to the desert for all those tasty resources. Two mountains nearby, all the metal, and of course, the tall rocks over there with all the crystal and obsidian and the wreck spawn is really close by also so it's a really good spot there's a lot of hot pois right next to it our next base location is going to be a brand new feature to scorch earth and it's an amazing spot it's located at 81.6 latitude 40.7 longitude right to the bottom of the map kind of like an abandoned church of course this wasn't on ase but if we go inside you can see you can place structures down on the floor without foundations that's really cool I've got it all lit up in here, very nice. We go up through the hole in the roof. I've placed loads of foundations on top, so you can do that if you want to. There's loads of building room to be found. It's really cool that you can build inside. And that's a divine wind percentage of 85%. And water, bit of an issue, but if you go out to the desert over here. So you've got the water well out here. It's a bit of a mission away, as you can see, but we've got our water tanks connected in and network all the way to the top of the tippity top right here and you can see we have running water and our industrial cooker is irrigated with 10,000 watt air inside so it's an awesome base location i'm really happy that there's new features like this in the game next base location is located at 24.6 latitude 23.7 longitude here's our location on the map right at the top left iron in love with this location like it might not work for me because i'm not a good builder but there's loads of quirky looking rocks here you could definitely build something really cool here and of course we are in the mountains so it's pretty dangerous up here right next to blue ob loads of metal loads of obsidian loads of crystal all that good stuff and believe it or not even though we're in the mountains if we just look underneath here you have what air look at that and loads of resources if you could save all these resources they'd be right on your doorstep and even in the water below there is actually silica pearls, which I'm really struggling to find on this map, actually. So this is a really nice find. There you go. Silica pearls right there. And also 85% wind. So it's pretty damn good up here. And that is going to be the end of the video for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I really hope the video was helpful. And if it was helpful, please do consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It really helps me out. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>